more of my time management series. So today we're talking about how to get everything done that you need to get done in a timely manner. Personally, I can get really overwhelmed when I have way too many thoughts spinning around in my head. I feel like a mess and it also makes me feel paralyzed, which prevents me from getting projects started and completing them. What I have found to be most effective at overcoming this paralysis is to perform a brain dump in my happy planner and then convert that into actionable steps. Recently, I have been reading a time management book called Getting Things Done, and in it, the author David Allen explains a processing strategy that involves doing, delegating, deferring, and I'm adding a fourth step called deleting. First, I'm going to perform a brain dump. So this means I'm gonna write down everything that is on my mind in the order that it comes to me. I'm not gonna stress out about what category everything is in or how neat it looks. Just get it out on paper. And this I do at the beginning of the month and it becomes my monthly list, which you saw in my prioritization video. I write down all the projects that I'm working on, any meetings, events, parties, appointments I have, um, any volunteering I'm doing, any, any calls I need to make, any emails I need to write, any cards I need to make, bills I need to pay, anything I need to buy like groceries or supplies for a project I'm working on or gifts for someone's birthday, if I'm taking an online class, I'll write that down, books that I want to read, goals that I want to achieve, cleaning I need to do, really anything that I could possibly need or want to do. Then I'm going to separate these into the four categories that I mentioned using color coding. These are mild liners, but you could use any sort of color pen, you could use color pencils, or just regular highlighters, you don't need anything special. You can even use symbols if you want to, like triangles, circles, squares, to indicate your category. So the first category is called do it. And it's anything that is less than two minutes. We are going to get these activities done the same day that we create this list because they only take less than two minutes to complete. And typically I don't have really more than about six of these items on my list. So it's only gonna take me 12 minutes and I don't have to worry about them again. <laughs> Delegate it is the second category. And these are items that can be potentially done by another person if they are willing to help you out. Because sometimes we just can't do 100% of everything that we want to do because it's just not physically possible. So I think that in certain circumstances, it's okay to ask for help. The third category is delete it. These are items that may not necessarily be urgent or important enough to keep on the list. So for example, I had wanted to go to this Pompeii exhibit at a library and I realized that I just am not going to have enough time to be able to do this. So that item is getting deleted from my list. There is also an example of things that are no longer relevant because you changed your mind. Like I previously mentioned that I was going to buy gold spray paint, but then I decided that instead of buying gold spray paint, I could just buy some handles that were already gold and save myself a step in the process. So that action item could be deleted from my list. The fourth category is defer it. And these are all of the items that I will be working on. And I'm breaking them up into two categories. The first one is fixed or scheduled, meaning all of the appointments, activities, parties, uh, meetings, events, those have a fixed time and those will be put down on my calendar at that time. Then 
I have a flexible section and those are all of my to-do items. They can technically be done pretty much at any time. First, I'm gonna add those fixed items to my planner in the monthly spread. And I just, I personally just like to do this because I like to see kind of an overview of what my month is going to look like. So then after it's on the monthly, then I do need to transfer it to the weekly because the weekly is the page that is going to be open on my desk that I will be referencing during that week to make sure that I'm not forgetting to do anything. So now, after I have those fixed items on my actual calendar in my planner, then I add the flexible items into a weekly list. When I'm writing these items down, I don't just write down a noun. Like, instead of writing down craft room, I write down purchase handles, install handles, paint artwork, decorate cabinets, organize desk drawer. These all begin with a verb and they're also relatively simple actions. If I were to write down renovate entryway, there are a lot of tasks associated with that project and I think I would get kind of overwhelmed and not even want to pursue that. So I really encourage you to break down large tasks into smaller, more manageable, actionable steps. So I'm moving all of the tasks from my monthly list onto this weekly list for each of the weeks in the month, making sure that all of the tasks are planned out into at least one of the weeks. So I'm not forgetting to do anything. And I don't need to write anything down from the delete category because by definition, it's something that I don't need to do. For the delegate category, I will give myself an action item that I will need to speak to that person about potentially helping me out with that action. For example, I'm going to ask my husband to help me out and pick up the table, chair, and mirror from the store. Sometimes I also like to schedule in following up with that person just to make sure that they didn't forget to do it. So then there are those tasks in the do it category that take less than two minutes to do. So I'm just going to get all these done right after making this weekly list so that I don't have to transfer it over to from the monthly to the weekly. They all take less than two minutes. It's better to just get them done and to move on. And the final step is to prioritize the items within the week that I'm planning out. I will plan out my week on Sunday nights and I will prioritize the items on the list to help me figure out which days those items need to be completed on during the week that I'm planning out. And I go into depth about this in my prioritization video, so I really encourage you to watch that if you haven't gotten a chance to yet. The book Getting Things Done mentions how studies have demonstrated that our mental processes are hampered by the burden put on the mind to keep track of the things we need to finish without a trusted plan or system in place to handle them. And I completely agree with this. I find that when I use a system like this, it really frees my mind to be able to focus on the things that matter the most to me. And that is kind of to me what this is all about. Reducing the time that we spend on tasks so that we can do what we want to do in life. If you found this video helpful, please do me a huge favor and share it with any of your friends or anyone who you think may benefit from these ideas. And I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!